Giles. We have Graham Greene's funniest and most light-hearted novel. It's always been a huge success with audiences from the moment it opened at the Citizens in November 1989. Why should that happen? Well, I think the basis of it is that it is about the confrontation of older people to an upcoming culture. And it was particularly true of the 1969 when it was written, but I think it's true now. It's something every parent goes through. What are they doing on with Facebook? What is a meme? And the, the genius of Graham Greene is that a, a middle-aged to elderly man is drawn into a modern uh, culture by a much older woman rather than by, as would normally be, a very young man or a young woman. And I think that is what is perennially attractive about the show. And there's, a, there's an enthralling riddle at its heart as well, isn't it? Because there's a mystery about their relationship yes. to an extent. Yes. And it unravels in the form of a sort of travelogue, both emotional and geographical. That's right. And it is fun because they go everywhere. They start going to Brighton, then to Paris, then to Istanbul, then to South America. You're taken on this journey by this rather unlikely couple of this rather witty and a very salacious older woman and this very uptight a retired bank manager. And it's told as a story in the sense that it's in third person narrative. So you don't necessarily, although we don't know yet with this production, have great scenographic effects or moving videos or film or anything like that. Well, you can do it any way you like. I think it, it works best when it's done most simply because I think the language is so great and the characters are so entertaining. And every word is Graham Greene's? Every word is Graham Greene. And there's a wonderful upbeat ending. Yes, the party in South America is quite something. Fantastic.